I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today for my Holiday Home Tour 2018. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be showing you my Christmas decorations in my first floor and I have just come through a pretty major remodeling project in my home but I still have curtains to buy so I have not shown that video yet, the before and after of that. So if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging plus things like house remodeling, then I hope you subscribe and click that little bell that will just notify you of my future videos. Okay, I want to begin by saying that this is my second holiday season with you all and I am so happy and grateful to be here and I'm so excited to open my home to you. We're walking into my house and don't look at the front porch too closely. I haven't been able to sweep it in a long time, but Merry Christmas. This is my home and it's my Christmas decor for this year. I changed my decor a little bit this year because I redecorated the house. When you come in the front door, you come into the living room, which is a rather large room, it has a mirror right here. And then it has a little niche here that I've just decorated in red and green. And there's the bedroom. And there is a look at the living room. And I got a new Santa this year because the other one was kind of burgundy colored and very old world. And I found that one at Hobby Lobby and he's very dark red, which he looks a little more modern. And then the joy sign, which I love that joy sign. To me, words are so important because they remind us how to feel. I guess I'm a words person. I think I make it another one of those and paint it off white and keep it up there all year long because I just really think it's helpful to be reminded that we need to feel joy. Otherwise, we can forget. And there is the little living room area. And I did not use my red pillows this year because I have these gray rugs and some black accents. So I wanted to keep the black accents even though it's Christmas to make it a little more modern. There's the Christmas tree, which I'll show you in just a minute. And here's another round rug and my little dog that I decorated with a bow. We lost our dear sweet Eddie, who was our Sheltie that we had for 12 years. He's been gone now maybe four or five years. And until we retire and can be home with the dog more, Alan says, no, no dog, so we'll wait. But there is the little dining room area. And I'm waiting to show you the video on the house because I don't have the curtains yet. But you can see the black and white on the windows. Those are gonna be very bold, bold curtains. But I've just done everything a little more modern this year than last year. Everything is a little more spare. I'll show you a picture of what the dining room table looked like last year versus what it looks like this year. And you can really see that it's come from old world into more of an updated modern look. And there is the little Noel sign, which I've just decorated in the red and the silver. And I got this at Kirkland's and it's really very pretty. It has candles in it, it's not lit right now. But it kind of gave me the color scheme for this, which is red and silver as opposed to red, green, and gold, as it was last year. And then here is the tree, and I've done the black buffalo plaid to match the buffalo plaid and the rest of the room. And as you can see, it's mostly red and silver with touches of green. I love Christmas trees and I love Christmas ornaments. I just met somebody, actually it's my nail lady, and she said that she decorates her house for Christmas on November 1st. I thought I was early. At Thanksgiving, everybody comes and we're all decorated for Christmas, which I always love because I just love Christmas and I love the decor. It's hard for me to take it down. If I could have my Christmas decor up all year round, I would do that. It just seems like such a loving, happy time. I absolutely adore Christmas. And then here we go into the kitchen. And there is the kitchen and then a little family room area back there. And here is the kitchen table. And I found the little joy sign, which I really love that joy sign. I found that at Hobby Lobby and I'm actually going to keep it up all year long because my dishes are gray and white and I think it would really go. But I've just used little red napkins that I got from Amazon. I'll put the links uh, below the video. And in fact, I'll put a link to the video from last year so you can see the decor last year if you didn't get to see that video. It's more ornate and it's very old world looking, but it's really very charming too. It's a lot of golds and reds and greens. And there's the center island. And there's my believe sign. And when I redecorated the house, I must have spray painted that believe sign about five different times. It went to off-white, it went to silver, it went to black. And finally I ended up with kind of a mix, kind of a grayish, whitish, blackish color. I just love that word believe because to me belief is so important in life. 
what we believe is half the time what we get. Um, I did go ahead and paint the ceiling dome gray. A little bit of decor there, and I promise not to go into decor because this is mostly Christmas. And there's a look at the center island. And I got these wild bows this year, which are just red and green and kind of like Dr. Seuss, I think. And I just emptied a whole big bag of silver balls in that fruit bowl. And then I've got my little Santas here, which I've had for years. I love those little guys. And I have my favorite Christmas candle ever. And I buy these for pretty much everyone I know. This is the Fresh Balsam Candle from Bath & Body Works. Absolutely smells like Christmas trees. I love this candle and burn it all the time. There's a link below the video if you're interested in learning more about that. There's the little family room area. And there are the three stockings hung by the chimney with care. And they are for Dylan, yes, that's Dylan, Emily, and Colin. Emily is Colin's wife. And it was so happy because Dylan's girlfriend, Melanie, came to Thanksgiving. So maybe someday we'll have a fourth stocking called Melanie. <laughs> I always get a little ahead of myself, don't I, when it comes to my boys, my kids. Just got a little bowl there. Little Santa there. And then here, I've just got a few little deers on a box and just a few little poinsettias. So that's how the family room looks. Wait, this is the back door from the garage. And so this is what you see when you come in the house. You see a little coffee bar there. I don't drink, so we have our coffee makers there and sometimes an iced tea machine. And there's the little mud room area. And I love that little sign. I got that from Kirkland's at home sign. It's part of the new decor, which I will show you when I do my before and after decor video. Got some Santas there and Frosty is there. Now I'll take you and show you my filming room. There's one little bedroom there and I've already started to get little Christmas gifts for my sweet little Monroe, who is my niece's daughter. I don't have any grandkids yet, but I love my sweet little Monroe. And this is my makeup room and it's a wreck right now. I have some of the items from the living room decor that I brought back here. And then I started to do two videos this morning and then realized I looked too terrible to be able to do them. I am coming off of a bad cold and I shot one whole video on Christmas gifts. And these are good Christmas gifts that I'm going to be showing you in a video because I have to reshoot that video. I got through with making that video and, and started to edit and realized that I looked absolutely too ungodly terrible to be on that video. So I'm going to remake it tomorrow morning. There is a fabulous little Christmas gift, which is a shoulder massager by Miko, which I'll be showing you. The thing about the makeup room is that I did decorate it for Christmas this year, and I didn't last year. And it's just, you know, three little things. But I am so happy that when I'm in this room here with you, I also have a little bit of Christmas. There are my signs in my little bathroom. And so the adventure begins. Don't forget to be awesome. Always stay humble and kind. And those are absolutely wonderful things that we can all remember in life to keep ourselves in perspective and also realize how special life is. Well, I am so happy to have my second Christmas with you all. I am so grateful to have a YouTube channel. I'm so grateful that you all come and watch my videos. I just feel like the most blessed person on earth. I hope that each of us has an absolutely fabulous Christmas filled with love, family, friends, and all things good. Thank you to God. Thank you to all of you. Merry Christmas and have a wonderful new year. Well, that was a look at my holiday decorations for 2018 and I'm so glad you all could come for a visit. I am so grateful to each and every one of you out there, those who comment, those who don't. I absolutely am so happy and so grateful and so humbled that you're all here and I hope you and your family and friends have a fabulous Christmas season. Take care. See you next time.